Yeah, I, I think this is a Nuggets win, guys. And I'm just looking yep. at this stretch for Boston coming up. So they blew the game against Cleveland on Tuesday. Then they go back to Boston. Now they go to Denver. Um, then they play again on Saturday at Phoenix. And then they finish their road trip back-to-back -back at Portland, at Utah, before they go back home and host the Suns a week from tonight. So I'm no math major, but that's six games in nine days across all three time zones. That is a brutal road trip here towards the end of the season. You look at Denver, they've been fantastic at home, 24-6. and six. I think we're going to see some natural regression from the Celtics after that insane winning streak. And they're sub-500 ATS on the road this year. They've lost 13 games all season. Ten of them have been on the road. It just it feels like Denver's, they rise to the occasion in these games. I know the pricing, you're like, wait a minute, they're only a, a slight favorite? Yeah, it's because the Celtics have had an unbelievable season. I think Denver's the better team. Speaking of rising to the occasion, no one loves a big game like Jamal Murray. So oh, I'm going to yeah, take over 21 and a half points here. Remember, I mentioned that previous matchup uh, between these two teams. How many points did Murray have in that one? Oh, 35. 35. All I'm asking for is 22. He also shot in 71.4% <laughs> oh in that game. Absolutely went off. I don't know if that's in the cards here, but I think 22 points is worth asking for because, look, in some of these big games like the Lakers and the Suns, he had 24 and 28 points here. He's beaten this line in four of his last five. So I do think Jamal Murray is in store for a big night, and that would lead into the same narrative that Jared's speaking there. Let's go with the Joker, the Smoker, the Midnight Toker. How about Nikola Jokic? Uh, give me him for a triple-double, and you're going to give this to me at Plus money, yes, uh, please, and thank you, BetMGM. Uh, the reason why I think this is entirely achievable, he fell just a dime short in the first matchup back on January 19th of uh, logging a triple-double. He had 34 points, 12 boards, and 9 assists against uh, the folks from Beantown. Yeah, Boston has uh, given up the fifth-best adjusted defensive efficiency mark in the NBA over the last 15, but he's done this in four of his last seven. I agree with the consensus here that Denver does win this game, and if they win, Jokic puts up stupid numbers in the box score.